Hey everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make the cutest ribbon loop tree. This is so simple, there's not even any gluing involved. You can do this. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, these are going to be the supplies. You need a styrofoam cone. The one that I used was 10 inches tall. Then you need a variety of ribbons. You need some push pins and some buttons for the top. Now the first thing that you want to do is to cut all the ribbon into four inch strips. You're going to start attaching to the tree by folding those pieces of ribbon in half in a loop. And then with the push pins, you're going to attach all of these loops to the base of the cone. Now you're going to want to attach that first loop to about roughly one inch above the base of the cone. And then once you have that, then you can just go around the entire bottom of the cone following that same guideline and place all of the rest of the ribbon loops. Now you're going to continue up the cone, alternating colors if you'd like. If you have only one color that you'd like to use, then just go ahead and use all of those. So you do want to make sure that that top loop is going to cover the pins of the loop underneath the row of ribbons underneath. And as you can see, each loop that keeps going up, I'm covering the pins underneath. You're gonna to wanna to go all the way up to the very top. Now I'm gonna add some heart-shaped buttons to the top because this is a Valentine's Day tree. So it's super easy, just use one of those push pins and put it in one of the buttonholes and add as many buttons on top as you'd like to cover those push pins underneath. Um, and this just looks super sweet. Now I wanted to add some extra bling to my tree. So I went in and tucked in some loops of shiny glittery pink ribbons. You don't have to do this, but I just thought it was nice to add a little bit extra color. I do love this tree. It's sweet, it's simple, it's so easy to make, and it is inexpensive and a great gift for somebody that you love. Now let me know that you've been crafting with me and go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I bring you really quick, easy craft tutorials that don't take a lot of time. 